Listen, and you will hear stories of beauty, strength, and inspiration. Let's talk Women Talk. You look into our windows for light, hoping for the right answers to questions whose answers serve only to give birth to more questions. Doris Nuval from the Philippines holds the record for being the longest held female political prisoner in the Marcos years. Arrested in 1980 for planting a bomb, she spent nearly five years in prison and escaped execution because her father was a close friend of Marcos. What made a woman of privilege risk everything to end the dictatorship? Doris, this is amazing. I'm sitting here and reading through all these articles and I have this burning desire to ask you, why did you plant that bomb? Why did I plant that bomb? I thought it was my chance to be able to serve this country. Marcos at the time was in power for more than 15 years and the dictatorship knew no bounds. Was it a huge I, bomb? It was, it was a small one. I was told that it would not hurt people. It was just meant to, as propaganda, we wanted to land in the front pages of the world papers. I didn't ever think I would get jailed. It was either I was going to do it well or get killed. Your son was three-year-old then. How do you deal with being away from him in prison for so long? I think that was the hardest part of being in prison, especially because the FBI had come to visit me several times. They threatened to actually kidnap him in the States just so I could give more information. Doris, how did you feel the day that you got out of prison? The, the first sound I, at night, I stepped on her living room couch. Hello! And I just, ah, something broke loose and I just cried and cried because balut was a sound of freedom. I mean, you never heard that in jail. <laughs> Doris Nuval is still trying to bring justice to the Philippines, but where she once resorted to terrorism, She's now using television. Well, I got into television actually as a direct result of being in prison. I was allowed to bring in a 12-inch television set and, and I just saw the power of it. I think the most exciting part of the 11 years I've been with the Knowledge Channel was when I was assigned in Mindanao. For three and a half years, lived amongst the people and I found, I found peace in a land without peace. Now Doris, what is empowerment to you? Empowerment to me is having enough information, expressing what you feel in a public arena without being stopped. Doris, thank you so much for your vigor, your fervor, and this energy that you have. I should say thank you. <laughs> Doris Nuval is a woman with a burning passion for her country, willing to sacrifice what she holds dearest for her cause.